Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, a decision was made to stop the construction of a thermal power plant in Marash in Western Armenia. Public organization of Artsakh and Armenia appealed to anti-national structures with a call for humanitarian catastrophe in Artsakh. The problem of Nakhichevan is equal to the problem of Artsakh, a bomb on the head of Yerevan. Russia is officially leaving the Council of Europe. Cranes return to Western Armenia after 30 years. The two-month francophony starts in Yerevan. The court postponed the construction of the largest coal-fired power plant in the Marash Afshin province of Western Armenia. A group of 25 volunteers from Afshin Elbis Champlain at a side of life and nature protection initiated a case on this issue, within the framework of which research and expertise was conducted. The experts concluded that the construction of such a thermal power plant on the Afshin Elbis Champlain does not process from the public interests. After the 44-day war, the Republic of Artsakh is facing a new humanitarian catastrophe today. This is stated in a speeches of public organizations operating in Artsakh and Armenia to international structures. Almost a year and a half after the adoption of the ceasefire declaration on November 9, 2020, Azerbaijan continues to pursue a policy of ethnic cleansing against the Artsakh people by various methods in the context of geopolitical tension and destruction of the international community's attention from the Ukrainian crisis. Official Baku sharply intensified tensions and pressure on the settlements of the Republic of Artsakh. The Azerbaijani side also threatens the physical existence of the population of Artsakh, in particular it fires medium and large weapons in the direction of Armenian villages. During the shelling of September 24, two Azerbaijani shells exploded in the territory of the city. There were no casualties and destruction. We call on the entire international community as a whole and the OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs countries to take all necessary measures to prevent the impending humanitarian catastrophe and the policy of ethnic cleansing by Azerbaijan against Armenians in Artsakh. The statement reads statement about possible negotiations between Yerevan and Baku under the auspices of OSCE indicates a deliberate distortion of the negotiation material. If the Karst Treaty is in force, then Nakhichevan is not the territory of Baku's sovereignty. If not in force, return Ararat and Igdir. Mutual recognition will be carried out by the peace agreement, which is impossible without recognition of borders. Part of the southern border of the former Armenian SSR is the dividing line defined by the international treaties between the USSR and the Nakhichevan Nakhichevan Autonomous Republic. Nakhichevan was defined by the Moscow Karst Treaty of 1921 as an Armenian autonomy under the auspices of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Read the full article on our official website. The Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced that they are leaving the Council of Europe and this notification was passed to Secretary-General Maria Pechenovich Burich, stressing that decision was transmitted to the Secretary-General of the Council of Europe. The statement reads, Under the condition our country will not remain on the Council of Europe, on March 15, Secretary-General Maria Pechenovich Burich was notified that the Russian Federation was withdrawing from the organization. After leaving the Council of Europe, Russia will be forced to denounce the European Convention on human rights. This was stated by the Vice Speaker of the Federation Council of the Russian Federation, Konstantin Kosachev. The Council of Europe in turn intended to remove Russia from its rank. This was announced on March 14 on the Parliamentary Assembly of Council of Europe session in Strasbourg. After 30 years' absence from Yuxeko province in Hakari province of Western Armenia, Kren surprised citizens. Here, as a paradise of birds, there are dozens of species of birds that began to return from warm countries. Cranes are among them. Crane population is under threat in Western Armenia. In connection with the International Francophony Day on March 20, about 700 cultural university, scientific and educational events on Francophony will be held in Yerevan and the regions of Armenia for two months. The Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of the Republic of Armenia, Yerevan Municipality, local self-government bodies of Armenia, museums, universities, secondary schools, schools and art libraries took an important part in the organization of this great event in the Francophony, coordinated by by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Within the framework of the two months Francophony on April 21 and 22, the concert hall of current Emerjan Sports and Concert Complex will host a concert by the famous Canadian singer Gao Rou, dedicated to the 10th anniversary of Armenia's membership in a Francophony. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> Ruzhar 
The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.